Right in here you can see there's like this pocket of golden brown. That's what you want to see at the very bottom of your pan before you turn it. Hi friends, welcome to Freedom Makers. Today I am cooking some okra for you guys. I'm going to show you the fast and easy way to fry okra. It's way better than like breading every piece individually. It's just, it's a great method. Um, but first I'd like to show you guys other things that we've been working on with our okra this season. All summer long I really enjoy prepping for winter. It's one of my favorite things. I love food preservation. So one of the things we have been throwing lots of okra into is soup. So this is some of my home canned veggie soup. You can see lots and lots of okra in here. Um, and it's one of my favorite ways to preserve my okra. It gives it great flavor. We are going to enjoy this all winter long. It's going to be great. The next way I've put up the okra is this spicy pickled okra. It's got some red pepper flakes in it. It's beautiful. It's rather spicy. It's a little too hot for my taste, but Paul really enjoys this um, for a snack, as he also enjoys um, this dehydrated okra. So I like to throw it in a dehydrator. It's actually a great little snack. So I just throw it in there, and when it gets hard, um, I vacuum seal it in my little jars here, and it's really great just for munching. You can also reconstitute it and throw it in other dishes as well all winter long. The last way I like to jar my okra is by itself. So this is just in a vinegar mixture, and I really enjoy it this way. Um, this doesn't go in my canner. That's my preferred method by itself. You can fry from this method as well, and it's also really good. But today Oh, and I forgot something. Um, we also like to freeze it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I like to throw it in bags as well when I'm running low on time and I don't have time to can it. Um, though this method is really, really fast, freezing is even faster. So um, these are all of the different ways that we've been preserving our okra. We have had an abundant harvest this year and so we're gonna have lots of it this winter. Um, but today I'm gonna show you guys how to fry it from fresh. Here I have some washed okra. I'm cutting the ends off of my okra. I'm going to discard that in the compost and I'm cutting these about like half an inch. You don't have to be really precise with this, you just chop it up. This one was really cool. It's okay if they're not, they're not exactly the same, but this one was really cool. Um, it's like this piece of okra had twins, so they're connected here. I thought that was really interesting. We're going to cut that open and see how it does. Yeah, so I was worried that because of this little spot that something might be wrong with this okra, but it's good. It's beautiful. That was really, really cool to see. I've never noticed that before. Um, I like to cut the ends off. It's just not very tasty. Um, the ends are a little more prickly. about four cups of okra. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna layer it in my bowl here. So um, first, I'm gonna put down, um, this is a cornmeal and corn flour mixture. You can see the two different colors. This is about a cup, maybe a little more than a cup. You don't have to be really precise. Um, if you can't use corn for some reason, if you have an allergy, I have also used almond flour successfully in this recipe. Um, you could also use just straight cornmeal if you prefer it. It's a little coarser and has um, just a little more defined texture. So I've put some of my mixture in the bottom of my bowl here and I'm just gonna start layering in my okra. So I'm just gonna throw some of this in here um, and you wanna make sure it's just in a single layer because everybody needs some cornmeal. On top of that, you're just gonna sprinkle some of the cornmeal mixture, whatever you've chosen to use, and then you put some more. And you just lay that out flat. You don't have to get really precious with this. This is a time saver, because I don't have to get out like egg and milk and all that stuff to like do like a true breading. This is just like a quick, easy way 
You're going to continue doing this until you are completely coated. If you don't need all of this, you can save it for next time if you've mixed up a specific mixture. Um, that's not a big deal. So this is what I've ended up with. I'm going to let this sit for just a few minutes while I heat up my oil in my cast iron skillet. Then we're going to dump it in. Here I have my cast iron skillet. I've poured just enough vegetable oil in here to coat the bottom of the pan well. My friend always told me that when you think it's hot enough that you can check with some flour. So I'm going to just put in a little bit of my flour mixture here. See how it bubbled? It like popped a little bit. There it goes. So that's how you know it is hot enough to start frying in. So I'm going to take this that's been sitting for just a moment and I'm just going to dump this in. So bon voyage. Here we go. Yum. So everything is nicely coated. You do end up with a little bit of extra um, cornmeal like in the bottom, but trust me, that's going to create this crust. It's going to be amazing. My skillet probably could have been just a wee bit hotter, but this is all right. You want to leave this on high heat. While it's cooking, I'm also going to salt this. I didn't put any in my flour mixture um, because I like to do this while it's cooking. I also like to use some Cajun seasoning, so like pick your favorite blend. Tony's is mine. I really like that for a kick, but you don't have to. And then we also really like garlic powder in our okra. So I'm going to put a generous little sprinkle in here of that. Okay, so I'm not going to stir this or anything until I feel like the bottom is getting a little bit crisp. Um, you can see like in between in little places um, the bottom. And when I see that starting to turn like a golden color, I'm going to try and turn all this. Right in here you can see there's like this pocket of golden brown. That's what you want to see at the very bottom of your pan before you turn it. Okay, I found it to be a little dry at the bottom. So I'm adding a little bit more veggie oil. You can do that if you find um, that it's not frying quite as, um, as well as you want it to. That's going to give it that golden color. Um, it really soaks into the flour mixture, so you may have to add that throughout. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to turn this again. It's getting dark. I like it like this. If you don't want it as dark, that's fine. It's kind of a preference thing, um, but this is how we like it. And I'm just going to keep turning this until, like this guy, he did not get turned a while ago. Stick him down in there. Um, and we're going to continue to, to do this. And you don't want to turn it until you see that it's getting really dark or, you know, to your desired darkness at the bottom. So this is a piece that's like perfect. Okay, so this is the bowl we used earlier. I'm not washing it. It didn't have egg or anything weird. And this is all about speed, right? So I'm throwing a paper towel in here. I am grabbing my okra and I'm just going to put all this in my bowl. Super easy, super fast, and you have a side for dinner, you have an afternoon snack, whatever you need, and it's ready to go. You got people always trying to get Get some. out. Ah. Ah. And there you have it. It's a quick and easy okra recipe. It's really simple. All this okra is coated completely, so you can see, and it's very crunchy. Okay, this guy is a little, mmm, it's hot. <laughs> so good. Mmm. Let me get a piece. Mmm. So good. Okay, so this is perfectly salted. You can season it any way you want to. It's a great snack, great side with dinner. This is perfect. And it was really, really easy. I didn't have to get out my eggs and my milk and all that stuff. Do a batter. Didn't have any of that mess. Just threw it in the skillet. So we're going to go sit down and eat and enjoy this beautiful goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you'd like to see more cooking videos in the future, be sure and let me know in the comments if you try this recipe or maybe you have one of your own that you'd like to share. Please feel free to do that in the comments. We always love to share ideas here. 
and we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye my friends. Taste it. Is it good? Best thing ever. Wonderful.